Hello guys, what's up? In this video, we'll see about annotating objects. So sometimes you want to add additional attributes to our object while querying them. So this is where the annotate method is used. So for example, if I write query set equals to, if I write customer dot objects dot annotate. Okay. And inside this, if I pass a new field called is a new equals to true basically i'm adding this field in my customer class so if you see if i save this and if i go back to my browser then you can see over here that it is saying that query set dot annotate received no expression this means that we cannot pass boolean value over here so we need to pass an expression about over here all right so basically an expression object is required to be passed so in django we have an expression class which is the base class of all these type of expressions for example we have value class which we had used we had f class we had func class which we are going to use in uh, database and then we have aggregate class which we had used in last class all right so now we'll simply use the value class over here so i'll go back to my browser uh, vs code over here i'll import value function okay so i'll write value and i'll simply what i'll do i'll pass this particular true inside a I'll wrap this inside a value one. Okay. So if I wrap this inside this value, then this will help in passing this particular expression. So if I go back, save and go back to my browser, you can see it has run. Now go to your SQL tab and here you will see if I just run this here, you can see this is a new uh, column which has been added that basically is new is a new column which has been added and one represents the Boolean value of true. So if you write false, it will represent zero over here. So I'll simply show you how if I write false, okay, and save this. And if I go back to my browser, refresh, come to SQL, and here you can see zero. All right. So this is all about annotating objects. Basically, we are passing the Boolean value inside an expression because we cannot pass the Boolean value over here okay another example which we are going to use over here is this time we're gonna give customer a new field and we'll get its value same as the id field so we need to uh, basically what we are going to do we need to reference another field in, in this particular model so for doing that what we can do first we need to import f which we have already done it and then reference this particular thing with the new id so i'll simply write instead of I'll write new new ID equals to and I'll wrap this inside F object and I'll write ID okay now save this and go back to your browser refresh go to your SQL and over here you can see new ID it has created okay so it is created like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, if I want to change this ID to 1, to 2, 2, to 3, 3, to 4, something like that, then I can do that. So I'll simply go and I'll put over here as plus 1. So it will change the ID by plus 1. So go back to your browser, refresh, refresh this SQL tab inside this you can see now two three four five it has started from two three four five six like that if you want to change it by five you can do it five and it is all up to you what you want to do so this is all about the annotating object guys and in next class we will see about the calling the database function so thank you so much for watching me guys and i'll see you in the next video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off